Hello and welcome to Newport County AFC. This is a FIFA 15 series on the PlayStation 4 where we try and take youth squad regens, scouted players and rookies, build ourselves a Champions League side and try and win the cup. And this is episode number 45. So I had a few comments uh, just asking to see some of the stats of the current squad. So we'll just go through here. This is Kone. Um, if you do want to have a closer look, you can always press pause and have a quick look at, at what, what kind of attributes they have. You can see Kone's building nicely. He's up to a 72. Um, he does have low attacking and low defensive work rate, pretty average weak foot and skill moves. And somehow he is scoring goals like a beast. The next is our left mid, Fiorillo. He's 19. He has five star skill moves and a shit weak foot. Can play left mid and left back. Uh, he has some average stats mainly yellows and oranges, um, but he is also coming along nicely. And if you see there, acceleration, sprint speed, and this is why he is the Italian Ferrari. Alexandre Arnos is a left mid, which we do play in the cam position. He has some nice overall stats, and he's also developing nicely. Some great ball control, good dribbling, um, some nice long shots there. And we're playing in a cam. He can play left mid, cam, right wing. Medium attack rate, low defense, and three-star skills moves. On the right at the moment, we have Gavillian, who's a center mid, center attacking mid. Um, he's got a good weak foot, four-star skill moves. He's only 17 years of age, and you can see there he's got some good ball control. Probably be good as a center mid as well um, as a cam, but at this stage, Arnos is holding down that, and Gavillian's doing a good job on the right-hand side. Uh, KL, well, this guy, 71, he's a centre mid, usually being an attacking role, and he's very well-rounded, so we're going to try and utilise him a little bit better. Um, he does have the high defensive work rate, and that is why I'm playing him in the CDM position, um, but maybe we can get him up the ground at a later stage. May is only 16 years of age, he is 69 already as a CDM, he's got some nice stats, um, good at penalties, good at short passing. Um, Hopefully he can develop into a more defensive style player, uh, but he's doing a job for us at the moment, so we'll just have to see how he works. Across the back line, uh, Wilmot, he needs to be replaced. He's not a rookie. We've got Schwan here playing at centre back with the injury to Muriel. 83 marking is probably his best stat, so he can hold down the defence quite well there. Good stand tackle, good slide tackle. Probably a little bit short for a centre back at six foot. Uh, but he does have that high defensive work rate and he can play all over the ground. Next we have De Jong. He is a 76 foot 4 at 16 years of age. So he is a beast. Uh, high defense, 3 star skill moves. And pretty much he's just got solid defensive stats there that will build slowly. Mostly yellow, pretty good stand tackle, good aggression and a bit of strength. So he's going to be a good centre back. Prono, our right back, um, he's only a 66. He's got some average stats there, but probably the best we could find in the right back position at the moment. Um, that four star weak foot and high defensive capability is pretty decent, but we'll probably look to replace him eventually. And our starting goalkeeper, Dobby, who we found quite early, um, has been doing a reasonable job. He has reasonable stats there, but we'll probably be looking to strengthen that up. If we do get promoted, we will need a better keeper. Uh, six foot four, so he's a pretty big boy, but he does do a job for us there. I'll just quickly go through some of the substitutes as well. Ziggy McGregor, uh, he's pretty much on par with Dobby. He's a little bit shorter. Same, similar stats, but not a bad backup. Manikov, yeah, he's a center mid. So we do have a lot of center mids. Um, so I may look to try and get offload some of these guys in the transfer window. He does have a five-star weak foot. He's a little bit short, um, but he's been doing a job. Ishizaki, uh, six foot two CDM. So that's a position that he probably should be playing, but he's a little bit low. He's got some good stats there uh, if we do need him for cover. Gonzalez is our other paceman. He's also a left mid, so we do have a lot of left mids. We have been using him on the right-hand side. Um, but we just bring him on for a bit of pace there. He's a pretty good high attacking option just to run in on that wing late in the game. Atkinson, uh, this guy's pretty solid. He's probably one of our only English players, but he's got a lot of green stats. So he's going to build nicely and, and he may be a, a good bench player or, you know, if he accelerates quickly, we will get a good spot for him. 
Richie shows a lot of potential. Um, he's got some good greens, yellows there. Uh, as I say again, if you want to look at these properly, just slow it down, pause it, have a look. Uh, but I did get a request to, you know, check out these guys properly. Um, probably haven't done it since the start of the season, the series. Uh, Blomfist is our backup striker now. Kone really needs some some help. I see more Blomfist as another cam sort of centre forward player rather than a striker. But we make do with what we've found and what we've scouted thus far. And that's all we've really got. The rest are just reserves. They're building. We might look at them at a later date depending on what happens. So here is uh, the league table. You can currently see that we're sitting in fourth after 17 games. Eight wins, five draws, four losses. And we're what, eight points there behind Shrewsbury. So we'll be looking to get into the games now and uh, see what we can come up with for you. Hopefully we can come away with some wins. And I hope that wraps up some good stuff for you there. So the first game of this episode is a game against Chesterfield and we are away from home and we will be looking to take three points because we want to cement our spot in the top uh, promotional areas. Preferably not with a playoff, we'd like to finish top but we're eight points behind and we'll have to see what we can come up with. Here we go in the first half. Here's Chesterfield on the attack now. Pushing hard into the box and has a shot and it goes over the top so that's a wasted opportunity there for Chesterfield. And it's very early on that they're getting a shot here. But we are riding their chances. Chesterfield again, pushing hard. And they're holding a lot of possession here, playing high possession football. Ducking back, ducking inside and straight past the keeper. And Chesterfield are on the board in the 13th minute. And they held onto the ball long enough there. High possession, waited for an opening and slotted it straight past the keeper. And that's a pretty piss poor defensive effort there from Newport County. I thought we had him, uh, but we just got open up a little bit here. You can see De Jong moves across and opens the gap up for him to come straight through. And Dobby didn't really have a chance, the first shot, first time there. So Dobby's been a bit hit and miss lately. He, he comes up with some miraculous saves, but other times he's just playing shit. Oh, through ball, Arnos. Oh, look at that through ball from Arnos, and Kone is away, and Kone is into the box, and it's saved by the keeper, and Kone has been denied after an absolute magical through ball from Arnos, and Kone got away, but that is a nice save there from the keeper, and we've earned ourselves a corner. So Gavillian now into the box and clear. Really good defensive header. Here's Arnos and cleared by Chesterfield. And at half time, there's a 1 0 deficit, and we're going to have to come out fighting in this second half. So the second half about to get underway, and Chesterfield with the kickoff. Oh, over the top. Oh, De Jong's fallen over. And Chesterfield are through. Have a shot. Good save from Dobby. And they've picked up the clearance into the box. And our defense is under attack here. Get in there and lay a tackle. Kaya. Oh, good save there from Schwan. And he gets it out. Here's May. May's on the ball. He's looking for a pass. Not many options. Kone makes a chance for him. Kone skips around a would-be defender. And this is Kone. And Kone gets past the keeper. And that's another goal for Chahore. Kone, and you can't keep this man down for long. And he's waited for his opportunity to smash one past the keeper. And this man cannot stop scoring. And this guy is just unbelievable. I mean, he doesn't have the stats that you would think he would be an unbelievable striker, but just, oh, what more could you ask for? And he is a diamond in the rough. 22 goals now for the season. The majestic prince, Trahore Kone. Arnos. Oh, Kone gets around a would-be defender. Kone, he's on a run, pushes it forward. And that is full time, and it's a one-all draw. And we didn't make the most of any opportunities there. Trehore Kone with one. Ten shots, nine on target. Well defended Chesterfield. 
so you squad update here uh, El Rashidi is still looking like an 84 Jack Brown 81 what else have we got here Duvan 88 he is looking good uh, Ag Boss Sumonde 81 and Adria the keeper going for 94 monthly scout update here we've got uh, Shinatara is a 90 goalkeeper we'll go ahead and sign him up and Oz Tekken an 80 well I don't like him he can piss off another scout update here uh, on gender 81 we'll reject him Falsuria an 84 defender 83 strength we might keep looking at him David Lopez is an 81 Barmy is an 83 Renard is an 88 Cavare ooh, 91 hmm and Marshall is the 76 and we'll go ahead and reject him so we might just leave those other guys there and see what happens on the next update so the next match we have here is Newport County versus Scunthorpe United and we, after a draw in the last match, we really need three points as we start falling away. If you look at the league table here, we've fallen to sixth on equal points with Scunthorpe, so we definitely want the win here, and we want to stay in reach of those top players and plot top sides. And Trahore Kone, they're talking him up already. He scored 22 goals so far for the season, and that's going to be... Well, he only scored 30 last year, so he's already on track to beat that, even missing the games of internationals and such. And he is in some great form. Here's May. May gets through to Trahore Kone, and Trahore is into the box, and Trahore, oh, it's been blocked. And they're going to do everything in their power to stop Trahore Kone scoring. And he had a shot, but he's hit the knee, and we've got ourselves a corner. Gavillian into the box and it's dropped down to Fiorillo and Fiorillo finishes the Italian Ferrari was right in the right spot at the right time and he's picked up the volley there and smashed it past the keeper a good cross in there from Gavillian just dropped down at his feet and left a straight past the keeper and I don't even think the keeper saw that coming it was that quick Fiorillo smash wow that is a lovely little finish there from the Italian Ferrari and that gives us a 1-0 lead really early in this game free kick here for Scunthorpe United and they go into the box De Jong heads out and it goes out of play throw in oh he's thrown it past but they've picked it up and they're into the box and they've crossed and he's missed and it was a good effort there from Scunthorpe but they couldn't finish Dobby bombs it along finds May May kicks on to Fiorillo Fiorillo gets around a would-be defender through ball finds Kone Kone into the box and Kone straight past the keeper picks himself up another goal for the season and that's number 23 and Kone says this is how you do it lads this is how you score goals so the majestic prince straight in past the keeper and this guy unbelievable Trahore Kone I can't I can't give this guy big enough wraps look at that he's just slid it hooked it around the keeper and this guy just knows how to seal the deal 23 goals now for Trahore Kone. Dobby kicks it in. And that's half time with a 2 0 lead now. And that's what we were looking for going in with some absolute intent. And Trahore Kone and Fiorillo putting two goals in on the board. Oh, here's Scunthorpe, and they're into the box, oh, and it's a good save from Dobby, and cleared by Jackson, who's in for, uh, oh, that's a good effort there, yeah, Jackson's in as we have a player away on international duty, uh, Primo is out for Paraguay, I think, or some shit. Here's Scunthorpe again, late in this game, 
Oh, it gets around Arnos. Finds a bit of space. Chips it into the box. That's got to be offside. Oh, no. They've scored. And they've picked themselves up a little goal there. Well, it was going to be a clean sheet, but Scunthorpe decided, nope, we want to score one here. And it's that 80 to 90th minute bullshit again. They haven't scored anything like that. They haven't had any opportunities like that all game. And Eo goes, oh, fuck it. We'll just give them one. You're already winning. Let's just make it a little bit interesting for the last couple of minutes. Gee, thanks, EA. Oh, Scunthorpe again. They're looking for an equaliser in injury time. Oh, saved by Dobby. Oh, Kaya clears. And he finds Chohore Kone. And Chohore Kone on a run. Oh, Chohore Kone with speed, with pace, with strength. The Majestic Prince is into the box. Chohore Kone straight past the keeper. And he's picked up another one. And this guy is in some scintillating form. That's number 24 for the season. He just ran away and no one was going to catch him there. He got a sniff and that's all Trahore Kone needs to seal the deal. And that man is going to be a legend of the Newport County Football Club. And that's it. That's a 3-1 victory. So we take the three points there. Delicious. Scouting update here brings us back a 77 from the Ivory Coast in Ob oh, I can't even pronounce that. We'll reject him. And Zane. Oh, a 94. Looks like a defender. Six foot. Could be hopefully a right or left back. And we'll sign him straight away. So Ivory Coast has been really good for us. So here we go in the third game of this episode. It is Newport County versus Port Vale and we are at home. Can we take another three points? And can Trahore Kone continue with this run of form? And here's Arnos. Through ball. Here's Trahore. Ducks around a would-be defender. Has a shot. Oh, save from the keeper and it's hit the par. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. Arnos has tried to finish it off and he's fucked it completely and chipped it over the top. And that is a hack effort by Arnos. He should have just laced that straight in. He's in the right place, wasn't he? So corner here. Into the box. Oh, it's cleared down. And Kaya gets it up. And it's... Oh, shit me not. I think that was an own goal. He's headed it. Keeper's fucked up. Defender couldn't get it. And that is a ridiculous goal. I've never seen anything like it. And all you can do is laugh at that kind of shit because there's some sort of scripting going on in regards to, oh, the keeper should do this kind of shit or whatever. And that is fucked. But well, we'll take the 1-0 lead. But we'd like to score properly. Here's Port Vale. Oh. Oh, Schwan. Schwan's fucked it up. And they've got it. Oh, good save from Dobby. Here comes Port Vale again just before half time. And at half time, we take in a 1 0 lead after that ridiculous own goal. So, what can we do in the second half? Newport County going in for an ultra attacking. Through ball. Here's May. May finds Arnos. Arnos ducks around. Oh, Kone. Well, Kone, he's hungry. He's fucking hungry and he couldn't slide it in. Oh, he's just missed. Can they hold on here? The fans are doing their best to give them the support. Here goes the Port Vale. The oh, the they've found some space here, Port Vale. Pushing through, pushing out to the got, wing. Oh, good tackle there from Gonzalez. Gonzalez, here's Kone. Oh, Kone gets around a would-be defender and he's off again. The Majestic Prince, yes, he's into the box. Kone, finesse finish. And there's no keeping this man down. He will score every single time. And there's not much more you can say about this man other than who wouldn't want Trahore Kone in their side. The form that he is in, the exquisite finishing. His, his finishing stats aren't even that high. And he can finish anything. Look at that. That is just, that is a sweet finish. Just finesse curl around past the keeper. And by the time this guy comes of age... He is going to be an absolute beast, if he's not already. 
injury time. Port Vale looking for a redemption goal. And they found a gap here. He's had a shot and it's gone over the top. And we take a 2-0 win there. Another three points for Newport County. And that concludes this episode. Thanks very much for tuning in. Trahore Kone in some scintillating form. And thanks for watching this episode. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you please hit that like button. And if you are enjoying this Newport Count series, please be sure to subscribe. Tell your friends, get them along. I've been Spiron DK, and this is a Spiron DK production for 2014.